so now let's create our footer so for that let's go to our uh, components and let's create a new file with the name of footer so footer.js so this will be our footer component so rfc to create a functional component and here inside that we will have our footer so first of all we need to add our uh, styles so let's so import that first of all so import so import footer styles from so we need to go to the styles and uh, footer styles right and uh, we can directly use this footer style So this has should be capital so footer styles like that so here you can see that if you notice this is a, a named uh, import means whenever i actually export this i actually exported it as a named uh, export so you need to be careful some of them is actually a default export and some of them is named uh, named import sorry named export so just do it as i do so that you can get the style and you do not need to write the CSS so in our footer let's get a div with a class name of container and inside that we'll have our logo so we can directly import our logo and uh, let's also use this in our layout so after the header let, sorry after the children so these children will be our content so here we will say footer and that's it so now I can see my footer footer logo and here for our footer let's get a paragraph text here so for our paragraph text we can create a common component so let's create a new folder in our components with the name of typography so typography so now let's create a new file with the name of paragraph text dot js and here rfce so here in our uh, component we need to add our style so paragraph text styles and copy this name and import this from uh, we need to go to our uh, styles and uh, it is in the typography and paragraph styles so if i go to paragraph styles yeah fine as you can see and you can see that this is a export uh, sorry this is a named export also here so we need to make sure that it is inside this curly packets fine so that's it so now what i need to do is i need to return the children here and also we need to grab all the props and I spread it here will be that will be fine so if i go to my footer now we can use this paragraph text so let's uh, use it so let's use it so paragraph text and let's use some lorem ipsum here awesome as you can see that the nice style is here and also let's give it a class name of footer text awesome so let's remove some of the text here cool and after that uh, we need to add our menu so we can use our ul here and uh, inside this ul we will have class name of footer menu list so here in our li sorry here in our inside our ul we'll have our ally so we will not directly have those so we will actually get those in our from our menu constant so menu and import this constant and let's say that map for each of our item uh, we need to return ally we need to provide the key we can use uh, item dot path and for here we can use um, link so this is the same thing uh, which we did in our menu uh, nav menu which is inside the header so in the link we need to provide that to it will be item.path and also here it will be item.title for the text so 
once we do I need to import this link from the Gatsby I can see my links here okay great after that uh, we need to add our social uh, social media icons and so for that let's also keep it in our constant so inside our constants folder let's get a new file with the name of social uh, links so here we need to export social links so it will be an array as well so here inside the array uh, we need to also let's say that export constant social links so inside this array we will have all of our social links so first of all first object name will be the youtube and url you need to provide a url and let's add the url and after that we need to provide an icon so icon will be so here we will directly use our uh, react icon so i can say fa youtube import fa youtube from react uh, icons slash fa so now it should be fine i can just paste those things instead of writing so we need to add all these icons from our uh, fa means font awesome i think fa facebook and also fa twitter so once we do now we have a list of all the social icons and we can use it in our footer so in our footer so after this ul means our menu ul we can create another ul with the name of i mean with a class of uh footer social links and inside that we can actually uh use our social icons so social icons import those constant and uh we can map about it and for each of our item we can return so we need to actually return the li and here we will have a key so the key will be item dot name and also inside this uh, we will have our anchor tag so this will be anchor tag because this will be an external uh, external link so here we just can say item dot url and uh, for the text item dot icon so that's it okay i'm seeing some error here so we are facing an error here so let's open our console react is not defined okay i got the idea. um i got it so in our social links we are using jsx directly here as you can see this uh components as you can see so for that reason we need to import our react in this file so import react from react import from react okay now it will be fine i believe so now if i refresh uh, we are seeing another uh, invalid so i think i made some mistake here so the name of this one like the youtube one so this will be capital t sorry a small t so like that youtube as you can see now everything is fine it's working so make sure about these names and after that uh, as you can see that right now the icon size is huge uh, we need to actually research those the reason it is not having the correct style is we uh, mistakenly add these links social list it should be so if i use the correct class name which will be the footer social list now we can see the correct style for it awesome and after that finally we need to add some uh, add a copyright text so pack up and uh, we already imported this and we can use our copyright text let me actually copy this whole thing and paste it and also if you can see that you uh, we are using the date object here and we are getting the new date and full year 
which will ultimately give us the current year as you can see so now as you can see that we are done with our uh, copyright and also let's give it a class name of copyright and now as you can see it is looking much better so i think we are done with the footer now we are having the footer and whenever we will create our page we will see these two things header and footer in all of the pages and also let's check the responsiveness as you can see that it is fine it's looking good